Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here. We are in Frisco, Colorado today. Rode out here about 11 hours in the hot rod. Super Meteor, that black bike right there. Yesterday, about 682 miles, I think. We are gonna be using this. This is a friend of mine's cabin. We are going to be using this as a hub. We're gonna spend the next four or five days. We're gonna radiate outwards in different mountain passes and trails and all kinds of neat things. And pavement, of course, for the most part. And uh, I'm gonna be riding, of course, my Royal Enfield Super Meteor, and he is going to be riding his beautiful shotgun, 650 shotgun, Royal Enfield 650 shotgun. He's got it all geared out, pipes and nifty doodads, bar end mirrors, and we, I did a video on this bike a while back. I do like this bag he added right here. Rhino walk, it says. But uh, should be a good ride. It should be a lot of fun. Uh, give, give a good test to both bikes. You know, the mountain. I drove through Eisenhower Tunnel yesterday. Uh, I took I-70 from Denver, all the way out here yesterday, and I was just blown away by I-70. I that was just amazing. And I've always heard that that was the most beautiful section of interstate in America. And uh, I've actually been on it many years ago, but wow, well, came over, you know, came out of Denver West, and every mile just got better and better and better. But you know, just a fabulous ride. Uh, the ride out here yesterday, pretty uneventful. The winds were strong out of the south for the first half of the trip across Nebraska. And then amazingly, they switched. They, the last half of the trip across Nebraska, they, they were coming from the north and not quite as strong. So the first half of the ride, I was leaning to the left pretty hard. And the, you know, the second half of the ride, of that part of the ride, I leaned to the right a little bit. But uh, came through, uh, took 80 to 76. And 76 is kind of a desolate road, you know. <laughs> in through Denver, hit, hit there just about rush hour traffic time and uh, buzzed through that. It wasn't terrible. It wasn't great, but it wasn't terrible either. The old 650 just did a well. That bike just tears it all up. And uh, then I made my, like I said, got west of Denver and the roads just started popping. Beautiful. And I'm running along and I look over and here's a whole herd of little goats or I think they're goats, whatever they are, sheep, goats, whatever. They were brownish, grayish colored, a bunch of little ones and their mothers and, you know, just along the side of the road, beautiful scenery. I had to remind myself to look in my mirrors because I was so busy looking at the scenery, you know, to make sure I was aware of my traffic and my uh, surroundings. You know, that's our job as bikers, right? But. Uh, uh, big stars of the trip yesterday would be that Neotech helmet really made the trip. That helmet is such a quiet helmet. I, I, I can't say enough good about that thing. And of course, the Nurbic jacket. And of course, that wonderful motorcycle. I took that to Baxter Cycle the day before Monday. And uh, I adjusted the valves and we checked all the oil levels and, you know, tightened the chain and checked the tire pressures, lubed everything up, got it all ready to go. I did not wash it because I thought I was going to be running through some rain today. Yesterday, I mean. Fortunately, no rain. So... Life is good that way. His bike's all nice and shiny, and mine is not. <laughs> That's all right. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go out and have some fun. Hey, my friends, life is good. Get out and ride. Wahoo!